Jesus said, I'm doing a great work like Nehemiah. He said, I can't come down. Well, what was the great work that Jesus was doing? He was doing something that would last forever. He was bleeding and in pain. For me, he was bleeding and he was in pain for you. The Bible says that he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Isaiah 53, you can turn there if you want. Isaiah 53, it lays it out for us, that picture of the cross. And it shows us four things that happened right there with Jesus on the cross. He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, we are healed. Picture this. If Jesus Christ would have come down off that cross and said, I ain't Father, forget it. Have you ever had those people who would just say, every man for himself? Have y'all ever met any of them people? Who won't try to support as Esther was saying? The soldier that won't run back? You ever met one of those people, those people who are just all in it for themselves? Yeah, yeah. But I'm so grateful that Christ wasn't just in it for himself. Yeah. But he was in it for me. Yeah. He was in it for you. Yeah. And if he would have come down, there would not be these four things. It says that he was pierced for our transgressions. That's forgiveness. Yeah. If he would have come down, and not stayed up on that cross and been pierced, we would have no forgiveness. Imagine your life without forgiveness. Oh, it got quiet. You know you need forgiveness for some of the stuff you were saying this morning on the way to church when the people was getting in your way on the road. Come on and tell the truth. Uh -huh. Mama, you pointing her out, all right? <laughs> <It's> all right. <laughs> I, I need forgiveness. I need forgiveness yesterday. I need forgiveness today. I'm, I'm going to need forgiveness tomorrow. And the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22 that without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. So what Jesus was saying to us through his actions, yes, I know I'm in pain. Yes, I know I feel alone. But I can't come down off of this cross. Park Street in Montclair, New Jersey on Sunday, April 5th, 2015 that will need forgiveness. So I know it hurts, but I gotta stay up here. If he would have come down, there would be no forgiveness. Can we thank God for forgiveness right now? Come on now. I'm thankful for forgiveness. I'm glad that the blood was shed. The Bible says that he was crushed for our iniquities. For those things perhaps sometimes that are unfair, for that evil. He was crushed for it. What is that? That's deliverance. Now some of you may not know what it's like to be delivered. But there are some people in the room today who should have been dead by now. The drug addiction. The crazy activity. It should have taken you out. But just like Saul, when he changed from Saul to Paul, and the song says, in one moment, everything changed, and who I was got washed away when mercy found me. And mercy found some of us in here today. And I, I know that mercy found me. But if Christ had have come down off of that cross, there would be no deliverance. There would be no picking you up out of that tomb. There would be no pulling you up out of that pit. There would be no saving you when you're in the lion's den. Come on now. There would be no standing in the fire furnace with you. If Christ would have come down, there would be no forgiveness. There would be no deliverance. The Bible says that in the punishment that brought us peace was upon him. There would be no forgiveness. There would be no deliverance. But there would be no peace. How many of you right now, you can say that everything in your life right now is perfectly all right. 
is going perfect. Okay, praise God. I was about to call out a liar. <laughs> I know my life is not perfect. I got to face demons when I leave here. And remember that the Bible says that it's not the things that are outside of a man that defile him, but the things that are inside. So before I rebuke the demon in you, I'm going to rebuke the demon in me. And I got to deal with some things that are not perfect. But in the midst of all my struggles and difficulties... I have peace. Yes. Come on now. I said I have peace. Yes. I have peace. Yes. I might be on the boat and the boat is rocking, but I got peace. Yes. I have peace. If he would have come down, there would be no forgiveness. There would be no deliverance. There would be no peace. The Bible says that by his stripes, we are healed. Yes. We are healed. I, I, I told the doctor, I said, listen, no, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not waiting for the surgeries to be healed. Hallelujah. You know, he looked at me like I was crazy. I, I was healed over 2,000 years ago. Hallelujah. So now all I'm going to do is decree and declare, and I'm going to walk in divine yeah. health. Amen. Amen. But that's because of the fact that Christ stayed up there on that cross. Yeah. If he would have come down, there would be no forgiveness. There would be no deliverance. There would be no peace. There would be no healing. And some of you today, you need healing for your mind. Things keeping you up at night. Worry. Stress. You need healing from your mind. You need healing for your soul. For your spirit. Your spirit that's broken. Your spirits that you're... Your spirit that other people have taken advantage of. And Amen. They've tried to abuse. Amen. You need healing for your spirit. Yes, Lord. Healing for your spirit because of situations that happen to you in life. Maybe you were fired. Maybe a dream died. When your dream died, part of your spirit died. Yes. God says, I've got healing for you. I've already healed you 2,000 years ago. Yes. Yes. Anybody glad he didn't come down? Thank you. I'm glad he stayed up there. I'm glad he endured the pain. I'm glad that my Father God made the sacrifice.